Hey guys, welcome to Medifaction. Today we will be learning about the physiology of dehydration. So generally, dehydration takes place when your body loses more fluid than you drink. In order to learn more about dehydration, let's begin. In this video, I will be enumerating an introduction, classification and causes of dehydration, signs and symptoms, dehydration in infants, aging effects on dehydration and also some treatments for dehydration. Introduction Dehydration is defined as excessive loss of water from the body. Body requires certain amount of fluid intake daily for normal functions. Minimum daily requirement of water intake is about 1 liter. This varies with the age and activity of the individual. The most active individual needs 2 to 3 liters of water intake daily. Dehydration occurs when fluid loss is more than what is consumed. Classification Basically, dehydration is of three types. Number one is mild dehydration. It occurs when fluid loss is about 5% of total body fluids. Dehydration is not very serious and can be treated easily just by rehydration. Number 2. Moderate dehydration. It occurs when fluid loss is about 10%. Dehydration becomes little serious and immediate treatment should be given by rehydration. Number 3. Severe dehydration. It occurs when fluid loss is about 15%. Dehydration here becomes severe and it requires hospitalization and emergency treatment. When fluid loss is more than 50%, dehydration becomes very severe and it is also life-threatening. On the basis of ratio between water loss and sodium loss, dehydration is classified into three types. Number one is isotonic dehydration. That is balanced loss of water and sodium as in the case of diarrhea or vomiting. Number two, hypertonic dehydration. Here, loss of wa more water than sodium as in the case of fever. The third type is hypotonic dehydration. In this case, loss of more sodium than water as in the case of excess use of diuretics. Causes Number 1. Severe diarrhea and vomiting due to gastrointestinal disorders. Number 2. Excess urinary output due to renal disorders. Number 3. Excess loss of water through urine due to endocrine disorders such as diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus and also adrenal insufficiency. Number 4. Insufficient intake of water. Number 5. Prolonged physical activity without consuming adequate amount of water in hot environment. Number 6. Excess sweating leading to heat frustration, that is, extreme loss of water, heat, and also energy. Severe sweating and dehydration occur while spending longer periods on regular basis in the saunas. Number 7. Use of laxatives or diuretics in order to lose weight quickly. It is common in athletes. Signs and Symptoms The signs and symptoms for mild and moderate dehydration are dryness of the mouth, excess thirst, decrease in sweating, decrease in urine formation, headache, dizziness, weakness, cramps in legs and arms. 
In case of severe dehydration, the signs and symptoms are decrease in blood volume, decrease in cardiac output, low blood pressure, hypovolemic cardiac shock and also fainting. In the case of very severe dehydration, the signs and symptoms are damage of organs like brain, liver and kidneys, mental depression and confusion, renal failure, convulsions and also coma. Now let's check dehydration in infants. Infants suffering from severe diarrhea and vomiting caused by bacterial or viral infection develop dehydration. It becomes life-threatening if the lost body fluid are not replaced. This happens when parents are unable to recognize the signs. Aging effects on dehydration Elders are at high risk of dehydration even if they are healthy. It is because of increased fluid loss and decreased fluid intake. In some cases, severe dehydration in old age may be fatal. Treatment for dehydration Treatment depends upon severity of dehydration. In mild dehydration, the best treatment is drinking of water and stopping fluid loss. However, in severe dehydration, drinking water alone is not effective because it cannot compensate the salt loss. So the effective treatment for severe dehydration is oral rehydration therapy. Let's see what is oral rehydration therapy. It is the treatment for dehydration in which a oral rehydration solution ORS is administered orally. ORS was formulated by World Health Organization. This solution contains anhydrous glucose, sodium chloride, potassium chloride and trisodium citrate. In case of very severe dehydration, proper treatment is the intravenous administration of necessary water and electrolytes. Hope you have understood the video. Like, subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.